This truly is a rock hunter's paradise. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did, and I am in the Pryor Mountains with my husband, Jim, and my dog, and we are meeting Theo Kellison and Travis from 406 Findings. And so uh, we're gonna see if we can find some Bear Canyon agates, some Jasper, maybe some fossils. I'm hoping for some geodes. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go. This is a chunk of Jasper. There's Jasper all over the top of this, but I like the kind of the patterns in this one. I'm gonna bring it home. Well, I finally made it up to where Theo and Travis are. Hello. <laughs> I went to the wrong hole and almost tried to, you know, get, get digging with some total stranger. <laughs> he says, I'm not who you think I am. I was like, oh no. Anyway, just lying here sparkling in the sun, I found this really pretty geode with beautiful crystals. Yay. We'll probably try to get some Bear Canyon agate, but what I'm really after right now is some geodes because I think they're really fun. And I picked a few up last time and I thought, oh, I wish I had more of these. So what I'm doing right now, just kind of going through the dirt, seeing what kind of things I can find. Lots of crystals in this area. Found a couple geodes over here. Oh no, that's not one. Here's a few that I found already. I'm very excited about this one because it looks just like a really nice nodule. And I've got a few others here that might have crystals in them. I picked this one up. I don't know if this is just a big chunk of limestone or if it's actually a nodule, but I'm gonna break it open and see. Besides the Bear Canyon agate, there's just all sorts of cool stuff here. This is um, maybe calcite. Just a, a vein of calcite crystals. I'll have to test it with vinegar to see if it fizzes. It might be something else, but I just found it kind of in this in this little hole here. It's a whole bunch of them. They're shiny. This used to be a nodule. Now it's just crystals in a black container. Here's a nice example of what that vein seam looks like. It's got little black stuff in there as well. I wonder if that's pyrite. There's some pyrite over on the other side that's in cubes. I wonder if that's what that is. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, I thought that might be an nodule, but if it is, it's one that's seen better days. Ooh, this one's not only nodular, nodular, nodular. <laughs> it's very light, so I suspect it's hollow inside. Neat. It's another little nodule. You can see the sparklies inside. So I'm just goofing around looking for geodes and I sat down and what do you know? There's a seam of Bear Canyon agate right here. <laughs> well, just goes to show you. I'm not sure what it goes to show you, but something. Isn't that cool? Here comes Mr. Did, who has asthma, and it's not good to have to climb these steep slopes, but he does it because he loves me. Look, Mr. Did brought me flowers. That's so nice. Jim picked up this beautiful piece of chert. It has all this beautiful sparkly druzy quartz on it. I love, love, love this place. Not just because it has Bear Canyon agate, but because it has just so much beauty. So much beauty. And it's so quiet. Except for when people like me yell at my husband down street, downhill.
undermining is always a good first step. While he works on that, I'm going to see if I can find more nodes, more geodes. This slope is very steep. I should have my GoPro that I can just wear and then I can have both hands free. Oh well, hindsight is 2020. How cool is this? This truly is a rock hunter's paradise. Jim's getting some of that stuff out, and I'm beginning to wonder if maybe it's uh, actually like a kind of a chert node, and it's got iron staining here. It's kind of cool, though. I'm over here visiting my neighbors, and uh, Travis found his first find of the day was this incredibly beautiful fortification agate. This is why people go gaga for Bear Canyon. It's very rare to find a fortification like that, so good job, Travis. Yay. Travis 406 <laughs> Findings, go check out his channel. It's another nice geode. These will look a lot nicer after I clean them off. I'm finding things in the shade. <laughs> huh, this is a piece of shirt. Pretty though. Starting to see it. This little spot right here yeah. was the original thing you were pointing at on the left. Yeah. And then over here uh, was a little thing on the right. And I've been digging all the way down into it and it goes all the way across. There's huh. just a seam of stuff there. Very cool. Crystals. This is more of that shirt, but gosh, it looks like it's got some cool patterns in it. And I think it has patterns in it of some kind, so I'm going to bring it home because you never know. Cut some slices, see what it looks like. Oh, straight from the vein. Ooh, it's got those reds in there and stuff. I think this is going to be really pretty. I'm sure we can get I think we've got plenty though. I think that's good. No point in killing ourselves if it's not the ag agate stuff, huh? Okie dokie. I'll just go sit down for a little yep, while. Go sit in the shade. Get up there. I would suggest going around. The jasper here on this side is this beautiful butterscotch color. This one looks like it maybe has some kind of some opalization from the sun. I love that color. Check this out. Again, it's just jasper, but it's jasperlicious. I mentioned to Jim that the nearby limestone quarry meant this whole place used to be a seabed. And this is proof positive. This is a shell fossil inside some butterscotch jasper. Isn't that cool? You've seen lots of jasper on the river, but how often have you seen jasper at the source? Isn't that cool? This whole cliff is kind of poor quality jasper. And up to, then down there, is the car. Well, I made it to the top. This part looks different from the other part that I would have been at. Still beautiful. It's a nice breeze up here. Red Jasper nodules. 
that's different for this side. Kind of cool. Okay, this is more what I was expecting when I climbed up there. This is lower down, so it must be the Jasper layer. And uh, everything you see here, pretty much, is Jasper. Lots of Jasper. And a very cool dead piece of wood. Look who joined me. 40 years, baby. It's very far down. Well, this just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Ooh, look how pretty that is. I tell you what, there's nothing like a trip to Bear Canyon to make you realize how very out of shape you are. Show off. Well, between the heat and the uh, steepness of this place, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty pooped. I, uh, we're gonna, we're sitting in the shade here, and we're gonna look for a few more nodules, and then I think we're gonna take off. And you can see, Mr. Did is hard at work rock hounding on his phone. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can see how red I am. I, I'm a little overheated, so we're gonna take it easy and not be stupid. Always safety first. Well, we're gonna take off here pretty soon, but I thought I'd come and see Travis's honey hole before we go. Yeah, he's pretty far into the... And see, I went all the way around that rock to go on this side. I was laying down, I was way back Oh there. my gosh, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of done. But... Kind of done, but you found some good stuff. Uh, I got another one that had some nice patterns on it. Very cool. Yeah, I broke it off this one right here. Nice. Oh gosh, look at the patterns on that. Yeah. Here, let me, let me zoom in a little bit. Whoa. Beautiful. Well, <laughs> I have to say, I think I found some chert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of it hanging out out there. But it's still really cool. Oh, some yeah. Some nice colors. Too. Yeah, some really nice, really nice stuff. Anyway, because congratulations. Always a great time. Sorry I didn't get to sh show you more of Theo and Travis, but we were kind of separated a little bit this time around. But it's always a great time to come here. It's so beautiful. As long as you drink lots of water and do your sit-ups before you come. <laughs>
like it was the ugliest little piece that I found, and this is the nicest Bear Canyon agate. So pretty. That's what it, that's what it looked like on the ground. That's what it looks like inside. Oh, I love this. This is what that shirt looks like inside. That's gonna make some nice slabs. It's almost pictured shirt. I don't know if there is such a thing, but if there is, this would be it. Anyway, thanks for joining us. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. Keep on doing. Nice.